Hello and welcome. Let me teach you how to solve this beautiful equation. Now, when you look at this kind of equation, you observe carefully that the highest power of this P is 3. It means it is called a cubic equation. And what it means also is that we expected to have three solutions for this P. Join me as I teach you how to do it. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. So we're going to begin with our solution. Now let's repeat what we have. P squared minus P cubed is equal to 12. Now what we do now, we're going to use factoring method. What we do now is, can we get numbers from the factors of this 12, both the positive and negative, such that when we square this number and then cube it, subtract the two results, it should give us 12. Let's look at that. We know too well that the factors of this is plus or minus 1. We have plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and so many of them. Now, let's check from when P will be 1. See, if we have 1, we have 1 squared minus 1 cubed. You know too well that this gives you 1 minus 1 is not equal to 2 of. You also test for negative 1. Negative 1 squared minus negative 1 cubed. Whenever you square negative, it gives you positive. So we have positive 1. And whenever you cube negative, it returns you to negative. So you have this. If you simplify this, it gives you 1. Open up this, you have positive 1. And this gives you 2, which is not equal to 12. Now let's check for when this P is 2. We have 2 squared minus 2 cubed. This gives us 4 minus 8 is not also equal to 12. Now let's see when P is negative 2, let's see what we have. So we have for negative 2, we have negative 2 raised to power of 2 minus negative 2 raised to power of 3. Remember, when you cube negative, it gives you positive. So we have 4 minus cube this, it gives you negative. So we have negative 8. And when you open up this, it gives you positive 12. Did you observe anything? So it means that that P we are looking for is negative 2. And with this one value, it will help us to find other solutions. So to work this out, we have P squared minus P cubed is equal to this 12. Look at what we are replacing it with. Negative 2 squared minus negative 2 cubed. If simplify, we have P squared minus P cubed. Remember, this gave us 4 minus, this gave us negative 8. So we now have P squared minus P cubed is 4. This gave us positive 8. So you see that when you add this to it, it's still this 12. So we're going to bring this to the left side of the equation to help us to solve. And to do that, we have P squared. This, we take it to this part. It gives us negative 4. Then we have minus P cubed. This one, take it to this part. It gives us negative 8 is equal to 0. So this gives us P squared. Remember, this is the same as 2 squared. We have this. This is the same as 2 cubed. These two are together. These two are together because of their powers. So what do you do? We are still going to have P squared minus 2 cubed, 2 squared minus factor negative out. So we have P cubed. This will make this to be positive. So we have 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now what do you do? You see that this has led you to difference of 2 squares. And for every A squared minus B squared, it is A plus B into A minus B. And for every, this one leads you to sum of two cubes. For every a cubed plus b cubed, it gives you a plus b into a squared minus ab plus b squared. We are going to apply these identities on the above to help us to solve. So to do that, we have applying the first one here. This gives us p plus 2 into p minus 2 minus for this let's apply this so we're going to have p plus 2 
into let's bring it down so we have p squared plus sorry it's minus so we have minus multiply this two we have p multiply two then we have two squared and everything is equal to zero keep solving p plus two into p minus two minus p plus two simplify this we have p squared minus multiply this you have 2p this gives you 4 let's adjust this so we have 4 and everything is equal to 0 now what did you observe you observe that remember these two are together also this you observe that p plus 2 is repeated so we're going to factor it out p plus 2 factored now use this to divide these two you'll be left with p minus 2 Bring down your subtraction sign. Use this to divide these two. You'll be left with p squared minus 2p plus 4. And everything is equal to 0. Keep solving. We have p plus 2 into p minus 2. Now we're going to open up this bracket. So to open it, remember this here is subtraction sign. It's just the same as using negative 1 to open it up. So we have to open up, and to do that, this gives us, this will multiply negative p squared. This is positive 2p. This is negative 4 is equal to 0. So we now have p plus 2 into, let's collect this. The highest is negative p squared. p adds 2 will give us 3p, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6 is equal to zero. Keep solving. Remember, for every a, b to be equal to zero, either a is zero or b is equal to zero. So from here, we have p plus two is equal to zero. To get p, subtract two from both sides. p will give us, this goes off, we have negative two. This gives us the first value of p. Now, for the second one, we now have negative p squared plus 3p minus 6 is 0. I don't want to work with negative, so let me remove this. You divide each by negative 1. So you are going to have, divide this, it gives you p squared, divide this, it gives you negative 3p, divide this, it gives you positive 6, divide this, is 0. So this is your quadratic equation. Quickly using your formula, you know that x is negative b, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Your a is always your coefficient of your p squared from here, the squared variable. So a here is 1, and our b is negative 3, and our c is the constant, which is 6. We're going to plug this in the formula to now have. And for you to have watched through this point, it shows what we do in trust. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. And if you're still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you every day. Let's keep doing this to have. So plugging this in the formula, please, this is P. Let's change the variable to P. We are going to have P is equal to negative of our B is negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared minus 4, our a is 1, our c is 6, divided by 2 times 1. So keep solving, b, multiply, you have positive 3, plus or minus, this will give us 9, multiply this, you have negative 24, is divided by 2. Keep solving, we have p is equal to 3, plus or minus, subtract this, we have root of negative 15, is divided by 2. Now, from here, you observe that there is negative sign in the square root. It shows we are getting a complex solution. So let's take it to this part to have. So we now have p is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of, this is the same as negative 1 multiplied by 15 divided by 2. So we have p is 3 plus or minus for every root of a, b, it is square root of A multiplied by square root of B. So we're going to have this multiplied by root 15 is divided by 2. Keep solving, we have 
P is equal to 3 plus or minus. Now, whenever you have square root of negative 1, remember it is always equal to imaginary unit I. So we replace this with I. This is a prime root. It cannot be simplified. So we return it to this. Then it's divided by 2. So this gives us the second and third value of P. Now remember we got the first value of P as negative 2. So let's split this. The second value of P is 3 plus I root 15 divided by 2. Then we also have it that the third value of P is 3 minus I root 15 divided by 2. And this gives us the three values of P. This is the real value. It can be found on a number line. And these two are the complex solution because they contain both the real and the imaginary part. And that corresponds to what we said at the beginning of the tutorial. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to tell us how much. And I'll also be curious to see your own method. Helping us to share this helps the algorithm to send to more people. And if you are still new, hit the subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. Thank you. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.